Hey, you tool aficionados from around the world. In this uh, to Food for Thought, Tools for Thought episode, uh, I want to talk about screw extraction pliers. So, in the past couple of years or so, I've noticed that uh, there's quite a few uh, videos on YouTube, uh, also on Garage Journal, I mentioned about screw extraction pliers, uh, particularly uh, ones from uh, Vampire Tools. Uh, these are van pliers so this is like the range uh, they have various uh, sets that you can buy this is just one of them that they offer uh, and this one happens to be on Mac tools uh, one of their latest flyers uh, the flyers uh, features other brands that uh, that are non Mac brand so I was pleasantly surprised to see this uh, from a mainstream uh, tool brands such as Mac Tools, Vampire Tools. So if you're in North America you're probably by now familiar with this name uh, especially if you're in the YouTube tool community. Um, when you think of screw extraction pliers you probably think of the name Vampire Tools um, but some of you might be aware that uh, Engineer is the parent company, the OEM uh, I guess especially if you're outside of North America, uh, you're probably more familiar with the green grips. That is from uh, Engineer. Engineer being a comp Japanese company that's been around for uh, more than half a century. Uh, by the way, they used to be called uh, a different name by Futaba, Futaba uh, Tool Company. And they changed their name to uh, to engineer back in uh, early 2000s, if I recall correctly. Um, so, if you think of uh, screw extraction pliers, uh, a lot of people think of yeah, vampire tools, engineer tools. But like I showed in the previous uh, JTS episode, uh, there are other companies such as uh, Three Peaks, um, and I also featured in that other video. Uh, I'll leave the link uh, in the upper screen. Uh, yeah, there's other companies like this one here, uh, Lobster Brand. Um, there's, uh, there's several other companies. I'll probably leave a link in the description down below for that. So in this video I want to talk a little bit about uh, you know what these pliers are about, uh, but more about the history, uh, the background behind uh, uh, these pliers. Is it like a, is it a Japanese invention or is it engineered in the U.S. Um, or is it a German thing or from some other other country? So let's get on with the uh, little bit of background. So this is just a page from this book, uh, Japanese uh, Tool Magazine. Um, so this when this uh, Nejisaurus GT plier, the PZ58. When this plier was released uh, in 2009, it won the Good Design Award. And ever since uh, the GT came out, um, from there on after, uh, they kept on w winning or being awarded this Good Design Award for the various uh, screw removal plier series that they started to release. But this wasn't the start uh, for Engineer uh, as far as uh, screw extraction pliers go. Um, they have the, the, er, the first model that they came out with was the PZ55, and that was released uh, back in 2002. So this type of plier has been around uh, for at least since then. But Engineer is not the only company that uh, has this type of plier. Uh, Three Peaks is also uh, at the forefront, um, at least from 2003, so really shortly after uh, Engineer came up with their design, which is this one. Pretty simple plier there, um, but Three Peaks shortly thereafter in 2003 came up with this this very design. Um, it's more of a specialist 
dedicated uh, plier for screw ex screw extraction, uh, as opposed to the PZ55, which is more of a general purpose with the additional feature for the screw ex extraction. So, <coughs> in my eyes, uh, when I bought my first pair, this is the first pair that I bought, uh, the dedicated plier with uh, I th with what I thought is and still do think that is a superior design uh, functionality. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. So. Yeah, Three Peaks is another company that's been there for, this design has been around for, yeah, uh, since 2003, so that's like 18 years. Um, and Three Peaks has also had their uh, locking pliers type as well. Um, this particular model is their version 2. Uh, in my JTS, uh, my last episode, I talked about the differences between the version 1 and version 2. But uh, this, the locking grip type, uh, they've had since 2004. So they've had this for a while as well. Um, Engineer didn't come up with their uh, locking um, type pliers until uh, just a couple of years ago. So now let's move on with a little bit of history. So is it? Is it the Japanese that came up with this uh, jaw profile, this screw extraction uh, feature on a plier? Um, oddly enough, it actually isn't. Um, in this particular article uh, in this magazine, 2010, uh, this is the Mr. Boss uh, engineer. He actually. I, I shouldn't say admitted, but uh, he mentioned in the article that uh, it was back in the early 2000s that uh, he, him or the company, uh, saw a tool, a plier, uh, in the States, which had a very unique feature, and it actually became a model for their, uh, for their PZ55. And so I actually happened to have had this uh, for uh, probably back in the late 2000s. Uh, I don't know where I bought it from, probably a flea market, a uh, garage sale. Um, this one is a Vaughn and Bushnell manufacturing US company, uh, no longer in existence. Um, but one of, the, one of the features that caught my attention was this, uh, the flat blade, which was probably used to adjust something. But more curiously, uh, it was this feature that caught my eye. See the uh, the grooves there. Yeah. So in this article, like I mentioned, they saw an American plier that was uh, that in that caught well that intrigued them. And as a matter of fact, uh, this article in the same magazine. Um, this is a reprint. Originally this was, uh, I believe it was a 2007 uh, article, reprinted into the, this uh, 2000, I can't remember which year this was, but anyhow. Uh, so factory gear, uh, the owner, the writer went to the States, uh, to the California, a place called uh, Bolts Antique Tool Museum. I I did a, th I had a thread on Garage Journal. I still do. Uh, leave the link down below. I basically scanned this article and uploaded it. And in here, they uh, picture they noticed these uh, gas uh, line pliers, gas uh, burner pliers, and they noticed that uh, unique jaw profile. At the time, they thought it was uh, probably thought it was an engineer thing, but no. Uh, no, it's a very much an American uh, invention. So this uh, example I have here is just one example. I I think uh, Utica was another brand. I'm sure there are probably others as well. So that's sort of like the history behind it. So I don't know what the vintage of mine or these ones are, but I would assume early 1900s. So 
that became the model for engineers screw removal plier. I thought that was kind of interesting and perhaps an interesting information for for me to share to you guys. So yeah, 2009, that's when these guys really kicked off. They really did a good job with uh, promoting their uh, promoting their line, their brand. Uh, engineer at the time, probably uh, not. They didn't really have a good brand recognition. Um, obviously, they're specialized in electrical engineering, electronics trades. Uh, hardly any re recognition, and probably in the automotive tool world. Um, but things have changed since. Uh, you got uh, Vampire Tools, for example. They've been uh, pretty successful, I, I think, in the past two years, at least in the YouTube tool community. Um, but yeah, like I said, there are other companies besides uh, Engineer Vampires. There's companies like Three Peaks. This is another magazine here. Uh, same. Uh, factory gear, factory gear magazine. Um, so this article features uh, Three Peaks. They are like Nifex, a uh, specialist in uh, pliers making, mm -hmm. but they are uh, they specialize in even uh, they are special further specializing in uh, cutting tools in particular. Um, like for example, uh, where did I have that? For example, these pliers here, um, they are particularly suited for, actually no, they are dedicated for plastic, cutting plastic. So if you are a model maker, uh, these are the pliers to have. Very precise, uh, you can literally shave off 0.2 of a millimeter at a time. Um, even according to in Tool Insider, uh, even Nipex is very impressed by some of the things that Three Peaks makes in the precision category. So, Three Peaks Engineer, um, they have various products. Engineer for there. Three Peaks has this in like three different sizes. They got the locking pliers. Engineer has locking pliers now, so there's lots to choose from. Um, but if you if you want to specialize, if you want a um, dedicated set of screw extraction pliers, I think this is a better choice. This is better uh, all rounder, I suppose, so the multi purpose. It's got the cutter feature, while the three peaks doesn't. I find. This being a dedicated uh, type of plier, um, not only can you use an inline, you know, like the engineer, um, you can actually use it uh, in this orientation as well. And you can get uh, much greater leverage for tightening or removing. Uh, meanwhile, you can't really do it with this. so. That's one advantage of the Three Peaks uh, job profile. Oh, and not to mention the job profile, I think it's superior because it actually just kind of like sucks the, the fastener in. The, the tighter you hold the grips, it actually, it, because of the job profile, they've done the, they've sculpted it out. They I'm not sure what the proper term is, but uh, it's actually like a concave um, profile down there in the groove. So it actually like has a uh, pulls the screw in. I find from use that that is the case. I mean, engineer's jaw profile is good too. Don't get me wrong, but I just find that uh, three peaks one is superior. And likewise, uh, with their new version 2, which has the same exact profile as the regular pliers, 
these lock employers I find are effective in that uh, unlike regular pliers where you have to maintain not only um, pressure to grip the uh, your fastener, your truss head or whatever pan head screw. Um, with this you can simply just lock it and all you have to think about or worry about is what, uh, twisting or uh, removing or tightening whatever you have to do. So that's a good advantage of these. Um, yeah, so I think that covers what I wanted to talk about in this episode. Um, oh, there's a lobster one. This is a slip joint type. More of a general purpose. Uh, you can, this jaw profile is unique in that you can also uh, grab flat things and also round things as well, small pipes. Um, yeah, it's got the flush, flush joint as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got something uh, useful out of it. Uh, a little bit of history too. Yeah, who would have known? It was actually good American ingenuity, or yeah, I say ingenuity. American tools. In the early er late 1800s, 1900s, they had a lot of unique features built into them. And a lot of those features have been forgotten for decades and then re re realized again after decades after and put into modern products such as these and perhaps perfected them, made uh, greater, made them more versatile. Yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, hope to see you again. Cheers.